Mexican chicken. Well, hello there. Look, I'm still eating the granola bars from last week's recipe. They're really good. You have to make them. Uh, uh. Okay, so today we are using the crock pot, AKA the slow cooker, because it cooks slowly. Today's recipe comes to us courtesy of Jody Quintero. So, if you don't like it, blame Jody. Step one is to get four to six boneless chicken breasts thawed. Look at my breasts. So, chicken is perfect for this recipe. I mean, I've been told it tastes a lot like snake and frog meat, and it's very crock potable. So next, she says to use two containers of your favorite salsa. Oh look, they're salsa dancing. She uses the Publix brand. We don't have Publix in Canada. So 16 ounces. Um, we don't have ounces in Canada. So next I'm to add a pack of low sodium taco seasoning and I'm under the impression that low sodium taco seasoning is only sold at Publix because my Canadian grocery stores didn't have that so we'll just get hypertension. One 16 ounce can of musical fruit, black beans. I would like to point out that mine has no salt added so that compensates for my high sodium taco seasoning. We're not supposed to add the beans right now. These don't get added until the last 10 minutes. Why did the chicken not cross the road? Because it was chicken. So I'm gonna put a lid on this and I'm gonna plug it in and she says that you can uh, put it on low for six to eight hours, or you can put it on high for four hours. So, because I'm impatient, I'm gonna put it on high for four hours. Okay, so I'll see you back here in four hours. So I'm back. I confess I almost added the beans to the crock pot uh, without turning on the video camera. I thought maybe you didn't need to see that part, and then I'm like, oh, Sarah, don't be a beanie baby, just add the damn beans. So as you know, beans have disgusting slime all over them and I'm under the impression that Jody doesn't want us to add the slime. I got my strainer and I'm gonna rinse them in the sink. Okay, and then I'm just gonna dump them in and I'll just stir them around. And I'll see you back here in 10 minutes. So it shreds really easily. Here it is, look at that. Okay, so Jody says you can serve it over rice or you could eat it alone or whatever spins your sombrero. Oh, that's good. Jody, I want to thank you for sharing this recipe with all of Team SS. Okay, I gotta go eat this. Bye. Subscriber, bad breath.